Hey guys, it's Halloween 2020 and it's an exciting weekend. Not only is it the spooktastic celebration, but The Mandalorian is back for season two. So excited about that. Which brings me to this week's build. A few weeks back, I made this cool Mandalorian inspired rucksack. It's part of a larger cosplay that eventually I'm gonna to get to. I wanted to add a few more accessories to the whole look. So this week we're building a Mandalorian camping kit, whatever that may be. This prop started because I just love these bulbs. These imitation Edison lamps. This is actually just LEDs with an engraved detail inside there that when lit up kind of imitates that beautiful old feel of those old lamps. And it's Halloween 2020 this weekend and of course more importantly for Star Wars fans, Mando is back. And I wanted to continue in the theme of the Mandalorian cosplay accessories. So this week we're making a Mandalorian camp light. Or is it a stove? Or is it some kind of futuristic communications array? I used the laser cutter quite heavily in this prop. I could have done this with a craft knife, but to be honest with you, the prop is quite small and therefore the shapes were quite intricate. And I also wanted to introduce some engraving on some of the greebles and really that can only have been done so precisely, at least with my skill set, using the laser cutter. Recently, we added a 3D resin printer to the workshop here at JC3D. And it's amazing. It's um, not a huge build space, but the detail and fidelity that is coming out of this printer is blowing my mind. So I created a special greeble um, for the top of the uh, camp light that I just thought I'd see how much definition I could get from this thing. And I'm impressed. It goes really, really fine detail. As always guys, and I say this every single week, I use EVA foam to build this prop. I love working with foam because it's just easy to cut, easy to manage, it sounds well, it glues well, and you can bend it and form it into different shapes. And I just think that's really versatile. You can see here that I also cut strips that would go down the side of the EVA foam blocks once they've been glued together. Some leftover fabric from the cosplay bag build a few weeks ago so this is a good example of uh, never throwing anything away <laughs> within reason and reusing it in the next prop
see here that I've used an R2D2 hollow lens holder or whatever that's called. I'm sure someone's gonna correct me. Um, but I used that to house the lamp because I just thought it would be a cool way of introducing some you know, pre-designed Star Wars shapes. I also purchased a pre-made and pre-wired circuit for the bulb, including an in-wire switch. I am by no means an electronics expert, guys, so please, if you are building something like this, make sure you take all the necessary steps to make sure that you do it safely. The real magic of this prop is the inclusion of the smart glass. This is a powered electronic film that allows you to turn on and off visibility. And I thought it would be awesome to use it as a diffuser on this Mandalorian camp light. Whether this, I used the Tamiya Weathering Master powder. I just literally rubbed it straight onto the EVA foam with my finger. This gives a really cool metal finish. A few years ago I made some coasters, um, Star Warsy style coasters for my desk uh, uh, on a laser cutter and this is actually out of wood and the designs were etched into the wood which means there's a, a raised part and a lowered part. Um, this gave me the opportunity to capture a silver finish on the raised areas. So I'm incorporating this into the prop as a coaster, somewhere to stand your beverage uh, whilst you enjoy the eerie but warm camp light. Now in universe, no doubt this would probably warm your drink and keep it nice and snug for you to, to drink in, in between hunting. Uh, but for me, I'm just sticking a coaster in a hole.
Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this build. Next week, I'm gonna be releasing the very first part of my Millennium Falcon bench build. I'm dead excited about this. It's a bit of a crazy idea. It's made completely, yes, completely out of EVA foam. And I've been asked a hundred times, but how are you gonna sit on it? <laughs> I'm gonna show you how. Not how to sit on it, but how I made it out of foam in the next episode. I just love these bulbs. I think they're amazing. And I'm so glad I managed to incorporate one into my build. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking any minute now, my missus is going to be shouting, James, where's my bulbs gone? Because you think I've nicked them, like the tea bags, right? But uh, I did nick them actually, yeah, but I replaced them with some substandard bulbs. So she's never going to know the difference. So um, it's all good. James, what have you done with my light bulbs? What do you need? Join me next time where we build something from a galaxy far, far away.